According to recent findings detailed in a new research paper, Japanese researchers have discovered a super-Earth exoplanet orbiting within its host star's habitable zone just 37 years from Earth. Want to know more? Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we will be taking a look at a habitable super-Earth 37 light years away. So make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Many of us have asked ourselves, are we alone in this universe? While humanity does not yet have definitive answers to this question, scientists are constantly on the lookout for clues that could point to the existence of extraterrestrial life. And what better way to begin than by looking for other Earth-like planets that may be capable of supporting life? There has recently been a large influx of research into exoplanets, though the motivation for these studies varies across organizations. Some are simply looking for an answer to the alien life puzzle, while others are looking for a second home for us Earthlings. We may have some good news now for you exoplanet fans. The Subaru Strategic Program, which was launched in 2007 to produce outstanding scientific results using Japan's Subaru Telescope, has assisted in the discovery of a super-Earth on the outskirts of a red dwarf star's habitable zone just 37 light-years from our home planet. While zipping around the red dwarf star M4.5 Dwarf Ross 508, the newly discovered exoplanet appears to follow an elliptical path that takes it in and out of the star's habitable zone, or the distance from its host star at which liquid water could exist on the planet's surface. If confirmed, the relatively close in astronomical terms exoplanet provides astrobiologists with a completely new target in their search for extraterrestrial life. Astronomers have discovered over 5,000 exoplanets and counting since the discovery of the first planet outside our solar system in 1995. The majority are gas giants such as Jupiter or Saturn, but some are rocky worlds such as Venus, Mars, or Earth. Astronomers refer to rocky planets as super-Earths if their mass is significantly less than that of our solar system's ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, but greater than that of Earth. Researchers look for all kinds of exoplanets, but rocky worlds are thought to be the best places to look for life as we know it. Previous research suggests that among rocky exoplanets, super-Earths may be the best places to look for life, making this latest discovery and its proximity to Earth all the more enticing. Researchers from the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan used the Subaru Telescope to make the discovery, which was published in the journal Publications of the National Society of Japan. The discovery of a habitable zone skimming planet this close to home offers a chance to investigate the possibility of life on planets around nearby stars, according to the press release announcing the discovery. Although red dwarf stars are abundant, accounting for up to three-quarters of the stars in our galaxy, their smaller size and lower temperatures have made detecting planets within their orbits particularly difficult. Nonetheless, as the researchers write in their paper, M-type stars are particularly promising targets for the detection of Earth-like planets. The Japanese team used a new ultra-sensitive near-infrared detector designed specifically for searching for exoplanets around red dwarf stars to make this discovery. According to the researchers, the IRD is a high-precision, high-dispersion NIR spectrograph mounted on the Subaru 8.2-meter telescope. IRD has been developing for 14 years, said Bunai Sato, a Tokyo Institute of Technology professor and the team's principal investigator. We have continued our development and research in the hope of discovering a planet that is identical to Ross 508b. The fact that this super-Earth appears to skim the edge of the star's habitable zone, dropping in and out along the path of its 11-day elliptical orbit, is particularly significant among the team's findings. This orbit implies that the planet, which is roughly four times the mass of our planet, may have liquid water on its surface. Although no life has been discovered outside of Earth, most astrobiologists believe liquid water greatly increases the chance of life. Despite the fact that this discovery provides astronomers and astrobiologists searching for ET a brand new target, there is always the risk that volatile M-type stars will blast away any atmosphere on a planet like this one due to their close orbit to their host star. Nonetheless, the discovery is significant because it demonstrates the viability of using this instrumentation to search for exoplanets orbiting red dwarfs, a capability that had previously proven particularly elusive. With such a successful first result, the research team says, we can expect the Subaru telescope to discover more, potentially even better, candidates for habitable planets around red dwarfs. So what is the relationship between red dwarfs and habitable planets? Three quarters of the stars in the Milky Way galaxy are red dwarfs, which are smaller than the Sun and abundant in the solar neighborhood. As a result, they are critical targets in humanity's search for extrasolar planets and extraterrestrial life. Red dwarfs, on the other hand, are cooler than other types of stars and emit less visible light, making them difficult to study. 
What makes this discovery even more remarkable is that it is the first exoplanet discovered by the Subaru Strategic Program using the Subaru Telescope's Infrared Spectrograph IRD. IRD was developed specifically for the search for red dwarf orbiting exoplanets like Ross 508b by the team at Japan's Astrobiology Center. It employs a planet hunting technique that looks for minute deviations in a star's velocity to infer the presence of a planet orbiting it. It wouldn't be a stretch to think that the Subaru telescope could provide us with even better candidates for habitable planets orbiting red dwarfs. It has been 14 years since the beginning of IRD's development, and we have continued our development and research in hope of finding a planet exactly like Ross 508b, said Professor Bunai Sato of Tokyo Institute of Technology, the principal investigator of IRD SSP. This research has paved the way for future observations to confirm the existence of life around low-mass stars. Recall that in 2019, astronomers announced the discovery of the nearest potentially habitable planet outside our solar system. The newly discovered exoplanet known as GJ357d is 31 light years away from our solar system. It is roughly six times the mass of our planet and orbits in the habitable zone of its host star, where water could exist in liquid form on the surface. There is currently no evidence that life exists on the exoplanet, only that the conditions there could support life as we know it. It's a distance from the star that's neither too hot nor too cold, said Lisa Kaltenegger, associate professor of astronomy and director of Cornell University's Carl Sagan Institute in Ithaca, New York. The findings, which were published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, were presented Wednesday at an exoplanet conference in Cambridge, Massachusetts. According to Kaltenegger, who co-authored a study on the newly discovered exoplanet, the discovery was completely unexpected. It was like a freebie, she said, of an analysis of observational data obtained from NASA's planet-hunting test satellite and ground-based telescopes. I was on vacation at the time and was completely taken aback. Using TESS, a $337 million spacecraft launched in April 2018, astronomers discovered another planet known as GJ357 orbiting the same star. When the scientists used ground-based telescopes at the Canary Islands Institute of Astrophysics and the University of La Laguna to conduct follow-up research on that planet, known as GJ357b, they discovered two more planets in the system including GJ357d. GJ357b and GJ357c, the other two known planets in the star system, are not thought to be habitable due to their scorching surface temperatures. According to Kaltenegger, the surface temperature of exoplanet GJ357c is approximately 260 degrees Fahrenheit. Little is known about the potentially habitable planet, which orbits its host star at a distance roughly one-fifth the distance between Earth and the Sun in nearly 56 days. According to Kaltenegger, a pair of next-generation telescopes, the JWST, which is set to launch in 2021, and the extremely large telescope in Chile, which is set to begin operations in 2025, should reveal more, including whether the planet is rocky or has oceans. Because it's so close and so bright, this will undoubtedly be one of the best targets for these telescopes, Kaltenegger said. This means we can collect that light and further analyze it to determine the chemical composition of the atmosphere, as well as whether we see signs of liquid water or oxygen. The closer, the better, and the brighter, the better, and this one has both. The discovery of GJ357d was really exciting, according to Elizabeth Adams, an associate research scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Somerville, Massachusetts, especially because the alien world is relatively close in astronomical terms. This will be one of the best to look at with the James Webb Space Telescope, Adams predicted. It's an excellent candidate for atmospheric measurements, which will tell us the composition of, if there's oxygen, and from there, how habitable it is. Because GJ357d is so much larger than Earth, Adams believes any life that exists there would be very different from life on Earth. She added that the planet's mass suggests it could support a massive ocean, so it could have aquatic life. Kaltenegger and her colleagues plan to investigate the exoplanet further in the coming months, as well as conduct additional observations of GJ357 to search for other planets in the star system. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Video